Hello, I'm Mark. Welcome to Android Authority. In this episode, I'm going to teach you a few tips and tricks for mastering blink feed on your HTC One. The HTC One is a nifty gadget. It has a wonderful build and design. It has amazing hardware specs, and it is loaded with lots of interesting software features, one of which is blink feed. What is blink feed? It's an HTC exclusive feature that shows all your favorite content on your home screen. This can be in the form of posts from supported sites, posts falling under a particular topic category, updates from your social network, and posts from your other Android apps. If you've ever used Flipboard, you'll find Blink Feed to be similar, except that all your feeds appear right on the home screen. Also, Blink Feed has fewer features than Flipboard and is available only in the recent versions of HTC Sense. If you want to master Blink Feed, You'll want to know how to customize it, master Blinkfeed's navigation controls, and find your way around your feeds. You'll also want to know how to get rid of Blinkfeed, so to speak, just in case you decide that it has become too annoying. First, let's talk about customizing your Blinkfeed. You can tell Blinkfeed what to show on your home screen. To do this, first go to the topmost feed on the Blinkfeed home screen. You can do it quickly by tapping the home button. Once there, swipe down a little bit like this to show this row of customization buttons. Don't swipe down too far or else you'll just be refreshing the feeds. Then, tap the menu button and select topics and services from the menu. You'll see these three tabs for services and apps, feature headlines, and categories. You can swipe left or right to switch between tabs. On the services and apps tab, choose which apps you'd like to be able to post content to your Blink feed. If you're a member of social networks such as Twitter, Facebook, Flickr, and LinkedIn, you can also log into your accounts through this page so that posts from those accounts will also appear on your Blink feed screen. On the Featured Headlines page, you can choose from a list of HTC recommended sources. The list varies according to the default country that you specify for Blink feed. If you have not set a default country, just open the menu in Blink feed, tap on Settings, then Local Content. Here, select a country from this list. Unfortunately, you cannot add your own sources to Blinkfeed. The third tab shows you different categories. Think of each category as a bundle of feeds from various sources. When you select a category, popular feeds and posts from that category will be shown on your Blinkfeed. So, if you are addicted to games, for example, the gaming category should suit you well. Or, if you want to always stay up to date with the latest in the entertainment industry, then you know which category to enable. Now that you've set up your Blink Feed according to your wishes, learn how to go around Blink Feed. Browsing your Blink Feed posts is as easy as swiping up or down. To open a post from the feed, just tap on it like this, and you'll be taken to the post itself. At the bottom of each post, you'd usually find a link for viewing the original story's web version using your browser. While reading posts from your Blink Feed, you can use some tricks to help you navigate faster. For example, you can swipe left or right or go to the next or previous post. If the text is too small, you can adjust it. Tap this button and pick a comfortable text size. If you tap the source name at the top, you can see a list of other posts coming from the same source. This button, of course, is for sharing the current post to your other apps. There's more than you can do with Blink Feed. This time, let's talk about managing your feeds. To ensure that you get the latest and hottest posts, Blink Feed automatically refreshes your feeds when connected to a Wi-Fi network. You can also manually fetch the latest posts by just going to the topmost feed and pulling downward until you see the Release to Refresh label. Let go and Blink Feed will update your feeds. You can also choose to use mobile data if Wi-Fi is unavailable. On the Blink Feed page, open the menu and select Settings. Tap Auto Refresh and select this to update your feeds via mobile network. Be careful about enabling this, as using mobile data can cause additional charges from your mobile carrier. Depending on what topics, services, headlines, and categories you selected, you could get a deluge of posts from all your favorite content providers. You don't need to drown in that flood though. For one, you can filter your feeds by choosing which ones to highlight. Just bring up the customization menu like this, then tap the menu button beside Highlights. This page lets you filter out sources whose posts you want to hide from your feed. If you're looking for a specific post, you can look for it with the search function. This is the button to tap. You can even bring your search to the web. Aside from receiving content through feeds, you can also post your social networks through Blinkfeed. 
Blink feed not only keeps you updated, but also lets you update your friends by posting social updates on Blink feed. To do that, just tap this button, select which social account to use, and then type your status update. Not all HTC One users adore Blink feed. Some prefer to have it hidden or deactivated. How can you do that? First of all, you cannot uninstall Blink feed because it is integrated into HTC Sense itself. But there are several ways to prevent it from showing up on your home screen. By default, Blink feed is set as the main home screen, so each time you tap the home button, you will be taken to your most recent feeds. However, you can change your main home screen to something else. Just open the menu in Blink feed and select Customize Home Screen. In this page, you will see a mini thumbnail of your home screens. Just hold down on any other home screen besides Blink feed and drag it to the Set as Home label that appears. When you see this home icon on the thumbnail, you'd know that that thumbnail is the main home screen. From here on, every time you tap the home button, you will no longer be taken to the most recent feeds in Blink feed. You'll be taken to your new main home screen instead. A second way to get rid, so to speak, of Blink Feed is to use a custom launcher. There are many of such apps on the Google Play Store, ranging from the simple and lightweight ones to eye-popping 3D launchers that look delightful. Custom launchers usually alter your phone's looks, including the home screen, so there's a very big chance that your preferred custom launcher won't let Blink Feed appear. A more drastic solution is to flash a custom ROM for the HTC One. There are several custom ROMs cooked up by third-party developers for the HTC One. Most of them don't include Blink Feed, but be careful about going this route though, as flashing a custom ROM may void your phone's warranty. Blink Feed is undoubtedly a feature most HTC One users consider neat and useful, although some would disagree. Through Blink Feed, all the latest content from your favorite publishers are made accessible to you right on your home screen. In this episode, I shared to you some tips and tricks on how to master Blink Feed. I even shared some tips on how to make it disappear from your main home screen. I hope you find the tutorial helpful. For more Android guides, news, and reviews, visit AndroidAuthority.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Mark. Thank you for watching. And remember, the power of Android is yours.